Happy Wednesday, everybody! Da, 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 da. How are you doing? Welcome to lockdown for those of you in Auckland. I see that everybody else is in level two, so I hope you're enjoying that. And I have a little buddy with me today. This is my friend Penguin the Penguin. In fact, Penguin doesn't really have a name. If you want to name Penguin, let me know your favorite name for Penguin. And for those of you who are new here, hi and welcome. For those of you who have been here before, you know how this works. If you're watching on Facebook with your grown-ups, they can write your name, your age, and where you're from in the comments, and I'll try and say hi to you. If you're watching on YouTube, you can't use the comments, but I'm going to say hello. Anyway, today we are going to do some cold science experiments. Is it cold where you're living today? Nana Girl's lab is in Auckland and it's very cold today, much colder than it was at the weekend. Are you cold? Do you think where penguins live is cold? Hmm, I tell you what, let's show you if you're new here how this works and then you can get started. So. We do shout outs if you're watching live and your grown up puts your name in, we say hi to you. So why don't we start with some shout outs and then I'll tell you what you need for the day. Okay, we're gonna start with, hi Nano Girl from Lucas. Lucas, hi. I hear that Lucas is actually listening to me on his dog walk, so that's cool. That means that I'm on the move with Lucas. I like that. Who else have we got? Hey Nano Girl from Brooke and Zach in Ardmore, all the way in Auckland. Yay, Ardmore. Hi from Kate, Luke and Ollie from Tauranga. Oh, you're going back to school tomorrow. Thank you for coming every day. It's been so awesome having you here. Hi Nano Girl, I love your experiments from Zoe in Auckland. Hi Zoe. Hi Nano Girl, Shirley from Rotorua. Please can I get a shout out? Shirley, this is your shout out. Ah! <laughs> Hi from Caitlin, your experiments are the best. Oh, thank you, Caitlin. Who else do we have? Yay, Nano Girl Day from Maddie and Libby in Auckland at the Garden School. Okay, who else do we have? We have hi from Nina and Grace, who's only six months and it's your first time. Welcome to the show. Hi, Nano Girl. Happy Wednesday from Kenzie. Happy Wednesday, Kenzie. And hello from Coles again. Okay, I've got two more shout outs. I'm going to get started. Hi, Nano Girl from Thea and Liam in Christchurch. Hi, everybody. And hi from Flynn and Brody in Bayview. Okay, if you're new here or you want a shout out, get your grown ups to put that in the Facebook comments. I'm going to tell you what you need for today's experiments. We're going to do two cold experiments today. So you are going to need. A piece of string doesn't need to be very long. This is probably too long and it's about the length from my elbow to my palm. You can have yours a little bit shorter than that if you want. Little bit of string. You're gonna need some ice cubes. I've got some ice, oh, a runaway ice cube, some ice cubes. Uh, you, are, you might, if you don't want dripping on the table, you might wanna put your ice cubes onto something. I've just got a little plate here for my ice cubes. You don't need it, but you might wanna bring that. You're gonna need some water. I've got a jug of water here. You're gonna need some salt, table salt, not sugar, definitely salt. If you're not sure, give it a lick and you'll be able to tell very, very quickly. Oh, it sounds like my alarm clock going off. You're gonna need, you don't need, but it's really helpful, either some food wrap or a sandwich bag. Now, if you don't have this, because I know some of you have plastic free homes, don't worry, you don't need it. This is just gonna stop your child getting messy. But if you don't mind them getting messy, then you don't need this at all. I'm gonna have some because I don't wanna get too messy today. And our super secret ingredient today you're gonna need some butter or some margarine. I've got margarine here. If you have margarine or soft spreadable butter, that's easier. If you have regular butter, try and make it at room temperature. So if it's in your fridge, go grab it out now and hopefully it will warm up during the show. Also, I have brought a little blunt knife to spread my butter with. You can use a spoon too, or you might just wanna dip your finger in. It depends how messy you want to get. And you're gonna need some sort of bowl or a cup or something that your water is gonna go into. So I know it's a lot of ingredients, we'll go through those and then I'll let you have some time to grab them. So butter or margarine at room temperature, some sort of small bowl or cup that you can put some water and some ice cubes in. A short piece of string, if you don't wanna get messy, some uh, plastic wrap or a bag to put your finger in, you don't need that, don't worry. Gonna need some ice cubes. And if you want to protect your table, something to put the ice cube on, I've just got a little plate here, water, and salt. Okay, go grab those ingredients. And while you're grabbing them, why don't we take a look at some of the videos that you sent in overnight? Hey, Nano Girl, my my name is Kinsey. Today I I'll be showing you my my win my windmill that you that you showed that you showed us how to make just today. Watch. <sighs> Bye, Nano Girl. Hello, I'm Marco, and I'm nine years old. This is my windmill. Hi, 
Pine Anna Girl. I'm Warner and I'm 10 years old in Auckland. I enjoy doing the experiments with you and today I'll be doing the static spinner. Thanks. Hi, I'm Zoe and this is my static electricity spinner. I love it, Zoe. Thank you so much for your videos. Remember, if you want to share your videos or your photos with us, just get your grown-ups to email us. The email address is videos at nanogirllabs.com, videos at nanogirllabs.com, and maybe tomorrow you will be on our show. Also, I have some exciting news. I know that this is going to be the last show for some of you. For those of you who are in level two, you might be going back to school tomorrow and you might not be able to watch live. So, da -da 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 -da, to celebrate you going back to school and to say goodbye and to say thank you so much for watching. Also, if you're in Auckland, we're still here. We're not going anywhere, but some of you have got school. We're going to run a competition today and the competition is to win a nano girl birthday party where a nano girl scientist comes to your home on your birthday birthday and gives you a surprise party. Well, maybe not a surprise because you know you won, but a party anyway, a science filled birthday party. So the details for that are right here. If you want to enter that competition, go to nanogirl.co forward slash win, put in your details. It's just for viewers. It's just for you who've been watching all the time. If you want to do that, one of you who's been watching all of these live streams, especially those watching today, might get a Nano Girl birthday party. And why are we celebrating that? Because today it's been one whole year since we introduced Nano Girl birthday parties around New Zealand. And we've had so many of you have an amazing science party. And we thought we'd celebrate doing them for one year by letting one of you win them. So grown-ups, that's your winning competition uh, message. Just put it in there, nanogirl.co forward slash win. Okay, we're gonna get on with our experiment. So I have a question. What temperature does water freeze at? So I know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, but what temperature do you think water freezes at? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me in the comments what temperature in Celsius do they think that water freezes at? If I have an ice cube, I'm gonna take a little ice cube here Oh, penguin. Thanks, Lucas. My penguin can be named Peckers. What do you think? It looks like a Peckers. Could be Peckers. I like that, Lucas. All right, Peckers. Peckers is going to sit over here. <laughs> it's a penguin. Helena Hearn, she's great and she knows real penguins. This is only a pretend penguin. It does make a sound though. Hold on. You hear that? Anyway, uh, what happened if it's not your birthday? Well, then we'll just wait until it is your birthday and then we'll come over. That's it. So you're going to have at least one birthday a year, right? And so if you have one birthday a year, then we'll come over when it's your birthday. But you can win it now and then when it's your birthday, we'll come and hang and we'll do some science. Zero! Okay, you know, zero degrees. Perfect. So zero degrees Celsius is where the water melts. Very good. And it turns from a liquid to a solid. So I want you to put your ice cube down and then if I can go to my top camera, I want you to put your ice cube down and then, very good, Arshkish, and Ted says zero too. I want you to put your piece of string over the top, push down over the top of your ice. And then if you go to my front camera, okay, you're pushing down, pushing down, pushing down, and then I want you to lift up and you'll see that the ice is still on the plate and your string is up here. Okay, so now what I want you to do is a name the penguin Katie, says Josh. Katie or Peckers, what do we think? Katie or Peckers, could be called Katie, could be called Katie Peckers. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we are going to lower the freezing point of water. And that's where salt comes in. So I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes in the winter in places, formal chicken, uh, sometimes in the winter in places that are very cold and get very icy, sometimes they put uh, salt on the road and have you ever wondered why that might be? Wait, another vote for Peckers over here. Well, it's because like I said uh, Salt reduces the freezing point of water meaning that it freezes below Everybody's liking Peckers. I feel like Lucas you're winning with Peckers. Okay, I'm gonna get my plate here I'm just gonna dry it off a little bit I Dried it on my leg. Don't tell anybody I did that. Okay, so what I want you to do now is put your ice cube down 
and I want you to put your string on top like you did before and I want you to sprinkle a little bit of salt over the top, not everywhere, just on the top of where your string and your ice meet and I want you to hold your string down, pull it down by the sides and we're going to wait for 10 seconds. Okay, everybody seems to like peckers, Lucas. I like the name peckers too. Okay, you're holding it down for 10 seconds. And while you're doing that, what happens is we're gonna lower the freezing point of water, which means that the ice at the top where the salt is, is actually going to melt to liquid water and then refreeze. And if we're really lucky, it's gonna refreeze around my piece of string. And when we did that, maybe in 10 seconds time when we lift it up we might get the ice cube to stick to the string. Now I call this experiment fishing for ice because I feel like I'm fishing and I find some ice. So if you held it down for your 10 seconds now I want you to gently pick up your string ta -da! and you should see that the ice cube has stuck to it. And so what's happened is the salt has lowered the freezing temperature of the water. It's turned the top of the ice cube into water and then the ice cube has refrozen that water around the string and now you have a balancing ice cube on top of the string. Remember when you have an ice cube that doesn't have salt on the top and you put the string on, absolutely nothing happens. You can push down and pull up and it doesn't stick. But when you put the salt on the top and you push down on the string for 10 seconds, Da, 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 da. Now you have, because of the power of salt, a floating ice cube. And this is why they salt the roads in the winter. So what they're trying to do is lower the freezing point of water, which is going to reduce the risk that any water on the road is going to turn to ice and make it less slippy for the tyres so you don't skid when you're a car. And so if you've ever wondered why they put salt on the roads, this is why, and this is a great experiment to show you. So this is my number one cold science experiment. Why do they put ice on the roads? To lower the freezing point of water. So we know it's zero degrees normally, but actually, it's not zero degrees, it's lower than that when you put some salt in there. And what does that mean? That means our oceans freeze at a different temperature than the water freezes in our freezers. It's pretty cool. Hey, it's working for Isabel. Awesome. Is it working for you? It worked. Yay. Awesome. So that's experiment number one. It's one of my favorite experiments. Um, and so I really like that experiment because now I know why salt is put on the roads. We're going to do another experiment, but before we do another experiment, why don't we have a take a look at some of the videos that you've sent in overnight. Let's see. Okay, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard. Hi, Nana and Girl. We're going to be doing a science experiment, seeing what one makes the least or doesn't make it all, but how long. We have cardboard and we have a paper towel. Let's do it. Like that. Oh, there's my microphone. Sorry, I was just making it fall off. Uh, thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, everybody. That was super, super fun. You may have seen that Charlotte did an extendable arm grabber. If you're wondering how to do that, if you go to nanogirl.co and look up Nanogirl's lab, we've got 50 different experiments in there. And right at the end, in the superpower of building your own super suit, there's my videos and instructions for how to make an extendable arm grabber. So there's plenty going on there. Don't forget, we've got a competition today where you can win a Nanogirl birthday party. Just go to nanogirl.co forward slash win and maybe we'll be coming to your house on your birthday. Okay, lots of shout outs to do. So we're gonna say hello before our next experiment. Who do we have on the shout outs? Hi from the Pretty Family. Oliver and Maddie. Hi. Hi Nana Girl from Elijah and Alyssa in Auckland. Hi. Hi from Scarlett and Sadie in Mangafai. Hi. 
Hi from Arkesh uh, in Auckland. Oh, it's your first time here. Akrish, it's your first time here. Welcome to the show. Hi. Who else do we have? Neve in Auckland, who is five. You are five. Hi from Lachlan, who is eight in New Plymouth. Hi, Lachlan. Hi from Liam and Daniel in Auckland. Hi. Hi from Samuel H in Auckland. We love your shows. I love that you're here. Thank you for joining us. Hi from Journey. Oh, Journey. We love Journey. And who do you have with you? Tai Nui. He's a first timer. Welcome, Tai Nui. Journey's an expert, so she'll help guide you on what we're doing today. Uh, I love your experiments from Money from HPPS. You yeah. Hi, Nana Girl. Alana from Auckland here. It's so cold. It is so cold today. It's very cold. That's why we're doing a cold science experiment. Hi to Olivia from Auckland. Hi. Uh, from Lachlan, Imogen, Maddie, and Lincoln, all the way in Lower Hutt. Hello. Okay, is that all mine? Oh, we've got one more. Hi, Nanago from Sophia and Blake. It's our first time watching, and it's wet and windy in Auckland. It is wet and windy. So we're going to think like a penguin today. Hi, Nanago. Kiki and Emma here from Keddy Keddy Primary School. Are you going back to school tomorrow? I know. We love your programs. Thank you for joining us. You've been here almost every day. Have fun at Keddy Keddy Primary, all the way up in Northland. We're going to talk a little bit about penguins. Peckers the penguin, as named by Lucas. So penguins live in very cold places. In fact, some very, very, very cold places. Well, does anybody know a name of a really, really cold place where penguins live? Anybody know? Now penguins are kind of cool. They do live all over the world, but there are some penguins that live in very, 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 very cold places. They're called emperor penguins. And I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes if you watch penguins on TV, it works with big rock salt too, that's good to know. On TV, you may have seen penguins and they're huddling together. So they're with their buddies and they're all huddling together. So penguins huddle together to keep warm. And actually a penguin will burn about 100 grams of energy, of fat to stay warm when it's huddled because it can use the heat of all the other penguins huddling together. But if a penguin was just by itself and didn't have anybody to huddle with, it would need twice as much energy to burn to stay warm. So to conserve energy, penguins, oh, hello, um, penguins actually need to huddle together to stay warm. The other thing that penguins have, and not just penguins, but all sorts of mammals that live in cold waters and cold areas, so polar bears, walruses, whales, um, they actually have this thing called blubber. And blubber is basically a layer of fat that sits underneath the skin. And blubber is what helps penguins and other mammals that live in the cold to stay warm. And I'm going to show you a great experiment today that's going to help you feel like a penguin. Okay, peckers, I'm going to put you over here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is think of a place that might be very, very cold with very, very icy water. Oh no, I'm turning into a penguin. Wait. Okay, I got my head back. So we're going to pour some water into our bowl or into our cup. It doesn't need to be very big. And we're gonna chill that down by putting some ice cubes in there. <laughs> so we're gonna make some very cold, oh, Caden and Rita in Antarctica, very good. Antarctica is where these emperor penguins live. And so we're gonna imagine that this is Antarctica water. So we've got very, very cold water. It's got some icebergs in it, or at least some, some floating ice. And I want you now to take one finger. It doesn't matter which finger it is. I'm going to use my force, my first finger. Oh, Chardonnay says she's struggling. All right, Chardonnay, we will wait for you because you are a super fan. We are just making some cold water with some ice in. That's all I need you to do. So pour your water in, put the ice cubes in, and then take your finger. And I want you to think about how your finger feels. And I want you to dip your finger into the ice water. <laughs> Is that cold? Do you feel it's cold? Is your finger cold? Okay, take it out, take it out and warm it up and dry it off. So if you were a penguin, could you imagine swimming in that very cold water? I think you and I would be very, very, very cold. In fact, too, probably too cold to survive for very long. But penguins and polar bears and whales and seals swim in this sort of cold water all the time. And they do that because of this blubber we talked about. So did you know that the coldest temperature ever recorded was in Antarctica? I know. And so the coldest temperature ever recorded in Antarctica 
was minus 89.6 degrees Celsius. Oh, that's so cold. And if you think about how cold that is, well, let me say the inside of your freezer is only 50, minus 15 Celsius. So it's super, super, super cold. You wouldn't survive very long if you had any of your skin showing at the coldest place in Antarctica. So what do you think people in Antarctica need to do to stay warm? Because people live there all year round and scientists do their research there. What do you think they have to do? Do you think they go out in a t-shirt and shorts or do you think they do something different? So I'm gonna show you what penguins do with their blubber. Now, if you want to um, not be messy, grab your plastic wrap or your um, sandwich bag, otherwise you're gonna get very, very messy. Grab your spread. Jessica burnt her finger last night helping to cook. Oh no, and dipping it in very cold water made it feel better. I'm sorry you burnt yourself, but good move on putting it in very cold water. Grab your spread, any sort of spread. You might have an olive oil spread. It doesn't matter, they're all made of fat. And blubber is made of fat. So if you want to protect, <laughs> protect your spread, Oh no, Chardonnay, the first experiment didn't work. It's okay, it doesn't work all the time, so you just need to try it again. So try a new ice cube, put some salt on, and make sure you're pulling down on the string to put some pressure on. Remember, as scientists, it doesn't always work the first time, and we just try and try again. Maybe you can change something in the experiment. Maybe you've got a bigger ice cube, or maybe you can use a different type of salt. Okay, so I don't want to get mucky hands. So I have a little bit of plastic wrap. You can use a beeswax wrap. You're just trying to protect your finger. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna wrap that same finger that went into the cold, cold water. Just, you're gonna make a little, basically like a raincoat for your finger. You're just gonna wrap it around your finger like so. I'm actually gonna do it with my other finger here, but it doesn't matter which finger you do it with. So. I've got a little protective raincoat here. Again, if you don't want to use the plastic, you can just do this straight onto your finger, but now it's going to get messy. I want you to take your spread and I want you to, here it goes, this is going to be fun. Camera, top down camera, please. I want you to spread the fat all over your finger. I want you to have a big, thick, fatty layer on top of your finger. Okay, and you're basically going to, Pretend that this is going underneath your skin if you're a penguin and this big fatty layer is actually what it's like underneath the skin of a penguin. So I've got a big fat layer covering my whole fingertip and this is the equivalent of what blubber will do. Okay, so just hold on to that there. Let's get my front camera. You can see that my finger is totally covered in either butter or spread or margarine. All of them are made out of fat. The same thing that blubber is made out of. It's a layer of fat. So underneath my penguin skin here, Becca's the penguin, would be a, a thick layer of fat, just like on my finger. So your finger may feel a little bit cold now if your margarine or your spread was cold, but have a think about your finger. Just hold on to it so your finger can warm up a little bit. Now remember what your finger felt like when it went into the ice water. If you don't remember, we're gonna put both of our fingers in at the same time. But hold on to your spread. I tell you what, before we get to that, why don't I tell you Nana Girl's joke? Are you ready? Here we go. It's a cold joke. What does Olaf from Frozen eat? in Mexico. What do you think? If he went on holiday to Mexico, what would he eat? He would eat burritos. <laughs> get it? Brr is in your cold burritos. I love burritos. Okay, get your fingers ready. Here's what you're going to do. I want you to think about how your finger is feeling when you put the finger in. Blubber is going everywhere. I did tell you it was a messy experiment today. Put your finger without any margarine or spread in. It should feel very cold. Okay, now put your finger in that has the spread all over it. And you should feel it doesn't feel any different. That's because fat is an insulator. Um, <laughs> you need chili. Um, fat is an insulator and that is stopping the cold getting to your finger and it's also keeping the warm around your finger and so you should find that when you put your finger in that's covered with the fat you can't feel that it's cold water like you could when you just put your enchiladas that's a way better punchline 
than when you put your standard finger in. Can you feel the difference between the fat covered finger and the not fat covered finger? And so this is literally how penguins stay warm. They have a, you know, I'm glad you like my jokes. Every day I do a terrible joke and you seem to like them. It works a journey. Okay, so that, and now the reason why I put plastic wrap on my finger is because this has only been in water, which means that I can conserve my spread and put it back in the tub. There we go. And I can put it on my toast tomorrow for breakfast. Uh oh, well, if the glad wrap is leaking, that's not gonna work. You're gonna feel very, very cold. So you might wanna rewrap your finger and try it again. But that's the science of how blubber works. And that's how peckers can sit in very, very cold weather and not be too cold. So the fat layer under pecker's skin and the fat layer that sat on top of your finger is an insulator. And so it helps to keep you warm and keep the cold out. And so next time you see a polar bear on the TV or a penguin on the TV or anything that lives in Antarctica, you're like, how are they not freezing cold? Now you know, it's a layer of fat. It's a pretty cool experiment. Hey, I love that experiment. Okay, so what time is it? You know what time it is. It is time for do, 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 do. what's under Nana Girl's microscope. We play this every single day. I have my clip on microscope. I've looked at something that is involved in my experiment today. So think of all the ingredients we use for our experiment. I've looked at it under my microscope. Take a look and tell me what you think this is. Let's have some guesses. What do you think that could be? It's something that I have used today. So look at your ingredient list and have a think about what it might be. B. What do you call a happy penguin? A penguin. Ha ha ha. Good joke. Good joke. Way better than my joke. Way better than my joke. Okay. Uh, how are we doing? Ice. Ice is a good guess. It's not ice, but almost. What else have I been using today that looks a little bit like ice, but doesn't melt? What do we think? Do, 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 do. Keep guessing. Keep guessing. Take a look at your ingredients on your table. What? Do you think it is a sort of crystal? What type of crystal do you think it is? What do we think? What sort of crystal do you have on your table? It's salt! <laughs> Congratulations, it is salt. Take a look at that. That is what salt looks like under the microscope. It looks pretty cool, hey. And if you remember when we did sugar last week, the salt crystal, is way different to the sugar crystal. So the salt crystal has much harsher angles and is much more cube-like than our sugar crystals. And I love looking at things under my microscope. I think it's really pretty to see those things. So we'll play that game every single day. Right, okay. So well guessed, Arquish. It is definitely salt. Hopefully you've enjoyed those experiments today. Don't forget, we've got a few things that you can do. If you want to win, or at least enter to win our competition, you can win a Nano Girl birthday party. Go to nanogirl.co forward slash win. This is a big celebration because I know some of you are going back to school tomorrow. So thank you so much for tuning in every single day. It's been so nice to hang out with you. These videos are still gonna be live after, so we're gonna still keep doing these at least until Tuesday next week, because it looks like Auckland's in level four till Tuesday. So um, don't forget about that. Um, so keep tuning in if you're in Auckland and you're not in school. Before we go, I'm gonna do one more set of videos that you've sent in overnight. Don't forget to send me your videos. Let's take a look at these. Hi, Nana Girl. My name is Ruby and I'm from Shotova Primary School in Queenstown. I'm gonna be making a ghost. You might be able to hang them up for, in front of your house for Halloween. First, you'll need a pen. Then you'll and you'll need a rubber band and a small ball, like a bouncy small bouncy ball or a golf ball if you have one, or a ball of blue tack and a tissue. So first, you get the get your ball and then put it in the middle of of the tissue and then you get the two tips together and the other two tips in the middle too then you lift it up and then flip it over and then you scrunch this bit up and get the rubber band and tie it around just do it loose not too squeezy and then get the pen and then draw its face
And then there, I've made a ghost. Bye, Nanny girl. <laughs> Bye, Ruby. And that's a great thing to remember because Halloween is next month. So if you want to learn how to make a ghost, Ruby, I'm going to try and remember that one for next time. Before we go, we're going to do some shout outs before we go. So who have we got? Peckers, who have we got? Jack and Hazel from Timaru, excited to go and be back to school. Oh, and you're going to watch Nana Girl after school. Yay, I still get to hang out with you. Hi from Oliver in Auckland. Hi, Oliver. Thank you, Nana Girl. Can you please give me a shout out? Leo, this is your shout out. Pegasus says hi too. Hi, Nana Girl team from Paprika. Hi, Pukki. Paprika, so nice to have you back. Ashley says, thank you, Nana Girl. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much, Nana Girl. We loved your experiment. I'm so glad. Uh, James in Uriwa, he's eating the ice. Oh, not the salty ice, I hope. Amazing experience. I've got school tomorrow. Thanks, Nana Girl. That's okay. See you soon. Hi, my name is Leo. Hi, Leo. Who else do we have? Hi from Josie and Finn in Mount Monganui. Hello. Hi from Danica and Jordana from Auckland. First time watching. Oh, welcome. We're here every day at 3.30. You have made me love science. Thank you, Nana Girl from Mustafa. Mustafa, thank you. It's so nice to know that you love science. I love science too. If you want to keep up to date, we're still going to be doing these shows every day at 3.30. Just go to nanogirl.co forward slash subscribe if you're a grown up. And then every morning we'll send you an email with all the equipment that you're going to need for the afternoon and the topic of the day. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some forensic science. So if you are trying to solve a crime with science, I'm going to teach you some of the secrets for how you could solve a crime. We're going to do something called chromatography and we're going to look at fingerprints and learn how to capture fingerprints and discover what the different types are. But for now, from me and from Peckers, it's been so much fun. I'll see you tomorrow at 3.30. Bye.